Hey, what's up everybody? I just want to take a couple minutes to talk about a shoe I put about 50 or 60 miles in that I just got recently. It's the uh, Puma Bolt Evo Speed Runner. I think it's a shoe that's actually been discontinued by Puma. I, I think it came out last fall, but I actually didn't know about it. And uh, I saw it online recently on sale on Amazon and just decided to give it a shot because it uh, the prices had really come down and, and I really liked the way it looked and I was in need of a lightweight training shoe to go with some of my uh, more cushioned trainers for, for long runs. And uh, I've just been really, really impressed with this shoe. And as I went out looking for information for it, it didn't seem like a lot of people had been talking about it. And uh, not to mention the fact that Puma doesn't appear to be selling it new anymore. So unless they bring them back again, uh, maybe this uh, discontinued stock and places you can find them on eBay and Amazon are the only places to get them. But uh, it's 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 a great shoe. It's a I'd I'd say it's somewhere between a uh, a big trainer and and it's not it's not quite minimalist. It's it's about I think they weigh about seven point eight ounces for a nine uh, a size nine in men's shoe which is really light, kind of on the same class as a, maybe like a Saucony Kinvara. Uh, and, uh, but I gotta say, I actually like this shoe quite a bit more than the Kinvara 3. Uh, I can't speak for the 4 because I haven't worn it yet, but the uh, it's it's basically the same weight, if not lighter, and uh, I think it, it breathes much better. This this mesh on the top right here, it it's you can just you can feel it really good when you're running. I mean, the air goes right through it. The only overlays at all are really the side of here where it's kind of like uh, the Puma symbol with a little bit of Usain Bolt, over, uh, like the lightning bolt action on the end there. But uh, they almost just give the foot, uh, the shoe just a little bit of structure. There's not a whole lot else to it, but uh, they look, to me, they look great. Like I said, looks are one of the main thing that first attracted me to the shoes. It's just really a great bonus that I've been so surprised at how good they feel. This shoe is really really comfortable the in, the inside lining i think is suede and uh you could probably wear it barefoot i typically don't run like that but the uh everything feels really good on the inside of it it's uh doesn't have a big toe to uh, a heel to toe drop I believe it's only like four millimeters but you know that's that's kind of a personal preference thing i, I wouldn't recommend this to to probably be, beginning runners i think it's might be a little bit light for them but for somebody looking for a uh maybe a race day shoe that's not minimal. I could see this being a, uh, a really popular shoe. I, I know I'm going to do some five K's in it this fall now that I've gotten it, but I just couldn't find any information about it. So I kind of took a gamble based upon the fact that it looked like it was lightweight and, uh, and I love the way it looks. There were some other colors too. There was black with, uh, some green in here. And I think there's black with blue on here, but, uh, I decided to go for this, this color. I don't know why it kind of, I just like the color combination. And uh, I know a lot of people don't really care what, you know, they say they don't care what running shoes look like. But uh, personally, I do. I, I think there's a lot of good shoes out there, you know, a whole bunch of brands. and you, you, So there's lots of quality out there. So if I can find a shoe that, uh, you know, is quality to run in as well as I think looks really good, I'm, I'm going to go for the one that looks good every time. And uh, I just really, really have been impressed with this shoe. So, uh you might want to give it a shot if you can find any online. I've, I've seen them on eBay and Amazon, and I just really hope that uh, Puma decides to bring this shoe back because it, it needs to get some more credit. I haven't seen any real, you know, I looked on Runner's World and some other places. I could just find very, very little information, not a lot of official reviews, especially just for a shoe that's been, you know, you know, to me, it's been so much more impressive than I even figured it would be. It, it feels so good when you're when you're running in, and I, I use it a lot for. I've probably taken the longest run I've been on is probably eight or nine miles. I think the shoe would be probably perfect for five k to up until maybe about eight to ten miles. Any more than that, you might want something with a little more protection. That just probably depends on your personal preference. But that's about as long as I would take it. But for uh, my daily runs, where most of the time I'm going between you know, five to six miles. These shoes are perfect whenever I want to go, you know, run quickly. And uh, I've just been really impressed with them. And it's it's made me really start to think about uh, looking into Puma shoes, you know, more often now for running, which is not something I've done. I've almost exclusively looked at uh, uh, running Brooks. And I used to run a Mizuno. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of great brands out there and a lot of good shoes. But uh, Puma really had a winner here. And uh, hopefully uh, they decide to make some new ones like this. I do know they have some other, uh, a, lo a lot of other Fossline shoes and maybe the uh, 300 or the 250 or one of those 
feels pretty similar to this. I'm not really sure because I haven't run in them, but uh, from a just from a visual aesthetic and and weight and feel, this this shoe is a winner. They got they've got to bring it back. So, anyways, just want to give a little information because I, I I think there might be other people out there like me that saw these shoes and were curious on what they actually felt like. And uh, hopefully, I help some people out there uh, give them a try if you can find them for especially uh, while they still last because I don't think there's too many more of them out there. Take it easy.